You unlock this door with the key of imagination. Behind it lies a terrifying place where nothing is what it seems. A dark recess that lies between the platonic and the physical, where everything you so mightily desire is tantalizingly close, yet forever out of reach. Brace yourself, for you're about to enter the friend zone. A brief, if frenetic, introduction to Mr. Russell Hammond, 18-year-old high school graduate and anime porn enthusiast. Russell has struggled to find romance outside of the Japanese cartoon world, causing his grandmother and many of his classmates to speculate about his sexuality. Today, Russell plans to assert his manhood and win the heart of his longtime female friend. What? I I just thought that you like spending time with me, so... I do. I do, too. That's the thing. That's what's great. I, Because I think you're the most beautiful and, and interesting and funny person I, I've ever met. And I just want to spend all my time getting to know you and laughing with you. And the sex, the sex is... Listen, it's not even important to me. I just see it as a way for our souls to connect. Okay? So is that okay with you? Can our souls connect? I've told you a thousand times, Russell, I just see you as a friend. <laughs> but why? Why can't you give it a chance? I just don't see you that way. How do you see me? Like my little brother or a puppy. Puppies are cute. Why can't you just do People that? don't fuck puppies, Russell. Fucking puppy. Hi, good morning. Ah, oh, it is indeed. Did we? Did we what? Never mind. Yeah. Are you feeling okay? Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. It's just, uh... <coughs> looks like I lost a fight to Jack and Daniel. <laughs> well, the feet suits you. Thanks. How do we end up in, uh, Riverside Park? This is Sunshine Drive, silly. No. We're in New York City, right? Wow, you must have really drank last night. This is Sunshine Drive in Barbie City. Where's New York? Where's New York? I... Uh, I... What, why are you calling it Barbie City? What is that? <laughs> I'll show you around.
Are you feeling this? Of course I am. So you think we're laughing more and, and smiling more? Yes! <sighs> and, and you feel like every second is just electric? Of course, completely. Oh, I'm so glad to hear you say that. Oh, wow. You know, I just think you're the funniest, smartest, prettiest, <laughs> everything. You're the, I think you're the best. And, and I just want to spend... I don't know what's happened, but I want you to know that this is the start of something beautiful. I want to I wanna know you better than anyone else in the world. I want to surprise you with flowers. I want to comfort you after a bad day. I want to have inside jokes with you. I want to look at you and know and see everything that you are and love it. I want to... Russell, I want all of that. <laughs> and you know, that's very good to hear because I just oh I hope I'm not moving too quickly I, I don't really know the procedure for this kind of thing I, I haven't done like Are you wearing Spanx? No. So then, where's your... My vagina? Oh, I don't have a vagina. What do you, what do you mean you don't have a vagina? It's a primal organ, Russell. <laughs> Where do we go from here? We can kiss more if you want. And then? And then what you said, we can build a beautiful, meaningful, emotional relationship. No. Mr. Russell Hammond, a child of the 21st century, has discovered through trial and error, and mostly error, that through all his desire to break the friend zone, he only desired to physically break it, and not emotionally. He had selfish motives, and hypocritically accused Miss Jazz of the same. Don't let your physical desires cloud your emotions. Tonight's case in point and the friend zone. Do -do 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 -do. What about oral? Oh no, if I suck dick I die. <laughs>